the channel. Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for taking the time out. Um, and to everyone in the past 18 months who's actually visited, video, video, visited. And thank you to everyone in the past 18 months who's taken the time out to actually watch the drivel I've put out. Um, sorry, vlogs, the vlogs I've put out. Um, it, I was surprised when I got one subscriber. Um, as I rapidly bundled towards 100, I'm, uh, I'm frankly gobsmacked that anybody would take the time to watch what I produce, but uh, thank you nonetheless. This time, excitement of excitement, we're going to the Yorkshire Dales. You know those hills on the other side of the M6 from the Lake District that nobody raves about? Yeah, we're going there. Um, summer holidays, all that sort of jazz. Um, so I thought it would be a good time to take you out and about with me. But as I said at the start, on the uh, as we came into this vlog, um, every holiday should start with a, uh, a lovely place to stay and an ice cream. And that's exactly what we did. We headed to Morecambe Bay, found an ice cream shop, had a nice little ice cream overlooking the sea and watching people walk around. And then we headed to here. And this is Hornby Castle. And we, this Airbnb, you can stay in the castle. Um, and we had a fabulous time. It was lovely, proper, you know, not quite Downton, but you know, downed, mm, maybe, something like that. Um, so yeah, we, we had a lovely time there. Mm. Let's be clear, Ingleton Falls and the walk is not exactly a hidden gem. Lots of people know about it. The only difference is it's not on the western side of the M6 as you drive up England. Um, but nonetheless, it's a lovely way to go and spend half a day, a day, just walking around, trying not to stop too much and get in trouble with the wife for taking photos. Everyone been there? Yes, everybody's been there. Um, and just having a, a, a glorious old time um, and trying to get images that don't have 356 tourists in. Um, in fact, um, you'll notice in this vlog, I, I don't take images of the main waterfall um, because there were just so many people. Um, you really need to be there, I guess. Sunrise, sunset, when there's no other bugger there. But that wasn't me. Um, and then thank you to uh, Pete who provided me with a little uh, additional information about Twistleton Scar, um, which is on the loop and you just, oh, it's another five minutes and then you're sat on some lovely limestone paving. So let's go and have a look at it. The great thing about doing the waterfall walk um, is that it doesn't really matter what the conditions are, there'll always be some sort of shot. Um, and on this one you can see that I've tried to use the, actually use the, the bright light hitting the waterfalls and the contrast to really just pull out um, what I was able to see. Um, I've had to just slightly desaturate because it, the water was quite um, quite orangey 
I'm guessing that's due to the whatever the underlying strata is. Uh, but uh, apart from that, it's largely as I took it, um, and the ability to stick uh, live ND on my uh, Olympus EM1 Mark III was really helpful uh, in that I can just walk around with a lens and maybe a grad and a polarizer, and if I need the ND features, I'll just bung them in. You may wonder why you're not seeing much pieces to camera on any of the vlogs that I'm doing. Um, do you really want to see someone do this? <sighs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh, I need to check my heart rate. Right? Oh my God, I'm sweating like a waterfall. Um, the answer is no, you don't. You want to see me sat in a summer house with my GGI Pocket 2 having a little chat with you not me sweating like the proverbial with wet patches all over my t-shirt so you're not going to see many clips of me actually on day but you know probably best um going up to twisted and scar was i thought really interesting as i say it's really not much off where you have to walk for the waterfall loop um, but just getting up there um, and as you can see as you can see with this image, you have the leading lines of the um, the paving. I've used the tree to actually, um, I think it might be Penny again. Don't quote me on that. Um, to actually kind of use that to wrap around the larger hill. Um, but it's just, a, I thought, a really nice composition. Um, and likewise, um, if I just come around to the next one, um, I've always wanted, I've always wanted to get some really good shots of windswept trees, the sorts of things you see on Exmoor and Dartmoor, where you have those really gnarly trees. Um, and this is probably about the closest I've got. And it was a fairly bright day in fairness. It was a fairly bright day in fairness. It was a bright day, uh, but by going to more of a monochrome, um, I can then use the textures and the contrast to actually accentuate what I want to see. Um, so I'm quite pleased with this. I think it looks looks quite good. Just a windswept tree, or three, because if you notice closely, I've actually framed them very cunningly, so they all work together. Yeah, there's some brains in here somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how they work with photography, but anyway. The second part of the walk after you've actually got up to the top and walked along and then you start dropping back down um, some of the the falls are a little bit hidden but there are some lovely bits where the the path curves around um, bends in the rapids and you can get some really nice images like like this one where the water is kind of snaking its way through and again using the live nd really capture that kind of dynamic um, feel that the water had on the day thank you for watching this um, if you've enjoyed it then there is a part two to this um, if you haven't enjoyed it um, oops sorry um, well not really you shouldn't have watched to the end if you watched the end and you didn't enjoy it what are you doing honestly ridiculous um, but there is a part two to this where we uh, we discover why I've lost the right to plan any more walks for the wife when we go hiking. Um, we briefly go to Ribblehead and we very quickly leave. Um, yeah, and I'll show you around Sedbra and the hills above there. So, uh, as I say, thank you again uh, for your, your views. And if you'd like to leave a comment, that'd be fantastic. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. So, uh, until then. Cheers, stay safe, goodbye.